We're going to turn to our stock of the hour now. Moderna released a study today showing that its vaccine is effective for 12 to 17 year olds, making it our stock of the hour. Stocks editor Dave Wilson is here with the story, Dave. Thank you, David. Yeah, we're talking about a study done here in the U.S. that involved more than 3,700 children between the ages of 12 and 17. And yes, the uh, vaccine was found to be effective, just as it has been in those 18 years and older. You see the efficacy rate. It's either 93% or 100%, depending on whether you count relatively mild cases. Now, Moderna plans to apply worldwide for approval uh, to administer the drug to 12 and 17 to 17 year olds by early June. And uh, this comes at a time when U.S. regulators have already approved the use of the shot from Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech for those aged 12 and up. Uh, the initial authorization with Pfizer was uh, 16, but you can see how Moderna's business has taken off as a result of its success with the COVID-19 vaccine. I mean, you're talking more than $6 billion of revenue potentially uh, in the fourth quarter of this year, up 75,000% plus from where they were at the beginning of last year. I mean, that's what it, the decision will mean for this company. And you can see how its shares have done over time as well. It's been a top performer among the companies that either have vaccines on the market or are pursuing them. Uh, so now we're looking at, in terms of the U.S., competition for Pfizer and BioNTech when it comes to uh, younger people getting vaccinated. So, so, Dave, one of the things about Moderna, it was, it, was a, it was a much smaller company, as I understand, than Pfizer was, who so was coming off of a lower base there. Do we have a sense of what comes for them after they have the vaccine? I mean, what, what do they do next? Well, among other things, they work on booster shots. They work on other types of vaccines. I mean, there's no doubt the COVID-19 vaccine was sort of the initial success for Moderna when it comes to the messenger RNA technology that's used in the shot. So it's a matter now of how do they expand in that business with, with COVID-19 vaccines and what other uses can they develop for the technology? Well, and even going beyond Moderna, as I understand it, that mRNA technology had never been used successfully to develop a vaccine before. Does it hold out the possibility for Moderna and Pfizer and maybe for others now that we will have vaccines for a range of diseases? That may well be possible. Certainly, the drug makers are looking in that direction, and it becomes a matter of how things unfold in terms of the technology, in terms of what kinds of studies they're doing. I mean, it's clearly an area, though, where there can be room for more.